Let's talk about how to maintain your Amazon account health. You've already made sure that your product is quality, which should help you avoid any major problems with your Amazon account. Maintaining your account is very important. Your account health and seller ratings are indicators of how well you're performing on Amazon. This is the performance data that is visible on your home screen of your Seller Central account. It will give you a quick snapshot of the main variables as well as some action button numbers such as your messages. There are certain elements that make up your account health and seller rating. They're both made up of the following. Firstly, your performance checklist, also your order defect rate, your customer metrics, your on-time delivery score, and your buyer to seller contact response time. By clicking the health account button, you will see a more in-depth score of what makes up your ranking. By clicking on your seller rating score, you can see all the things that contribute to making up that score. When you click on your account health ranking, this is the screen you will see. You can see a more in-depth view of your account health and all the things that it is made of. Some of the elements are taken care of 100% by Amazon because you're using FBA, such as the on-time delivery score, as well as a majority of the customer metrics, excluding your refund rate. I taught you in a previous video about the importance of responding to customer queries. If you answer every question within 24 hours, you can obtain a perfect score for the buyer-seller response time. So make sure you monitor your account every 24 hours to stay on top of this metric. The performance checklist is a basic list of what Amazon expects from you. Check it regularly and keep in line with Amazon's requirements. The order defect rate, or ODR as it is known, is the area where you can actively improve your rating. The ODR is made up of the feedback ratings as well as what is known as A to Z claims. An A to Z claim is when a customer has an issue with an order and is not happy with the response given. We don't need to worry about A to Z claims because Amazon FBA is doing our customer service and they take care of any refunds. Let's look at what you can do to your ODR to keep it under control. Customer feedback is one of the most important elements of the ODR score. If customers have had a negative experience, then this will impact on your account health and your seller score, as well as increasing the ODR metric. A high score is a negative score when it comes to ODR. In general, you shouldn't contact a customer. However, if they've given you a negative feedback, then it's advisable to do one of two things. Number one, if the negative feedback is relating to shipping or delivery in any way, or if the feedback is actually a product review, then you can get in touch with Amazon and request that the feedback be removed. Number two, if however the feedback is a result of a negative experience with your product, then you should get in touch with the customer via an Amazon message to see if you can resolve the issue and request that the customer removes or alters the negative feedback once you have resolved the issue. To see how to get in touch with Amazon or a customer, you can search within the Amazon Seller Central Help as they explain how to do this in great detail. Generally speaking, on the majority of screens in your Seller Central account, you will see a contact seller support link. This is how you will contact Amazon if you have any issues with your Seller Central account. Let's now look at where you find the negative feedback inside your Amazon Seller Central account. Here we are on the home screen of the Seller Central account. You can see the customer feedback circled here. You simply click on the customer feedback link. This is the customer satisfaction screen and it shows you the feedback manager. This gives us a breakdown of our feedback over different time periods from 90 days through to lifetime. You can also see a list of the most recent feedback you have received. We can download feedback reports and we can click on the orange button that says view all your feedback. This will give us an entire list of your feedback. This screen lets you see lots of information from the date the feedback was left through to the Amazon email address and buyer role. You can respond to comments if you wish to. You also have the order should you wish to contact Amazon about removing a certain feedback if it is not related to a buyer experience or as a complaint about FBA delivery. You can click the ID link to go to the actual order if you want to look at it in more detail. You can see everything in one place here which is very useful for keeping an eye on feedback and responding when you need to.